This is the Aperture MC, a $90 RGB light made specifically for video and content creators. While it's small, light, and magnetic, is it worth it? Let's find out. What is good everybody, it's your boy Anthony, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. On this channel, I do things all about tech, so if you enjoy tech or even some things about cinematography, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Today, we're talking about the Aperture MC. All right, so before we get into the nitty gritty of this light, I do wanna let you know down in the description, there is a link for you to purchase this light if you choose to do so. So let's talk about the price real quick. The price of this light is around $90, and I say around due to the fact that on most websites, they seem to be selling for anywhere between $100 and $110 instead of the $90 MSRP. So what are you actually getting for $90? Well, in the box, there's a few different things. There's the light itself, which is great and usually comes with a little bit of a charge. Along with that, you have a carrying case, which is awesome, some 3M tape, a USB to USB-C charging cable. And in my opinion, the best thing about the Aperture MC and what you get for it other than the light is this diffuser. This diffuser is like a silicone based diffuser and it is so helpful. It reduces the harshness that comes from the LEDs inside this light. So the design of the Aperture MC, I really like. I think it's a clean design and I actually really like the red accents. On the back of the light, you have a wireless charging coil inside and you have two magnets. On the top of the lights, there is a little LCD screen that allows you to see and adjust your settings for the light. While there is an app that can do it as well, if you just do it on the light, it works just the same. On the right side of the light, you have the charging port, you have the on and off switch, and you have like your little selection dial, which also acts as a button. On the left side, there's just a vent so that it can cool down. And on the bottom, you have a tripod mount. And that's pretty much it. That's the light itself. So the light modes in the Aperture MC are really cool. I mean, you have things from hue saturation to CCT to even some pre-built effects. So let's talk about the hue, saturation, and intensity. You can change from any color in the RGB spectrum, you can change its saturation, or you can change its intensity. You also have a CCT option, which is super cool. The CCT on this thing is pretty darn accurate. You go from 3200 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. There's also an effects option, which is super cool. I mean, you have things from cop car to paparazzi to lightning. It's super cool, and it can be used in so many different ways. But one thing that you can't do on the light specifically specifically is change like duration. You can't change how fast the flashes go. You can't change the lightning speed. That actually is all through the Bluetooth app integration. So the final option of the light modes is the Bluetooth option. It just comes up as BT. And the Aperture MC is completely Bluetooth compatible so you can adjust colors. You can actually use a color selector on the Bluetooth app and you can choose the intensity. And like I said previously, you can actually change the effects of your current lights effects and it just all does it wirelessly. So the biggest downfall of this light is the battery capacity. The Aperture MC comes with a 2600 milliamp hour battery. It's not that great. In reality, it's extremely small. And to me, that's the one big downfall of this camera, but it doesn't take that long to charge. And something that's super cool about it is it can wirelessly charge. I've noticed that if you turn the light on before you put it on the Qi wireless charger, it actually will turn on and you can still get light out of it, which I don't know if that's a bug or if that's something that was actually built into the light. Um, so that's something that I've enjoyed using every once in a while when I need to. The battery on this thing lasts only about two hours and that's at maximum brightness. If you're at minimum brightness, which it lasts 15 hours, which is a lot. So it kind of really depends on your situation and what you actually use the light for. Overall, I think the Aperture MC is a great purchase, especially if you're a content creator. And let me put some two cents into this. You want cheaper lighting, 
that is really accurate. That's hard to get. I'm using a $30 soft box that I got from a friend. And I'm using this light that I got at Ikea and purchased the bulb at Home Depot. You can create really good looking lighting even if you don't actually have the money to do so. So a $90 RGB wireless magnetic high TCLI and color accurate light is a great purchase. So yeah, that's kind of what I think about the Aperture MC. That's my thought process on it. And it's also just kind of my review of the light. It's definitely something that I enjoy and definitely something you should consider purchasing. If you do want to purchase it, there is a link down in the description below. And while you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to see more reviews and videos all about tech. Thanks so much for watching. It's your boy, Annie. I'm out. Bye-bye. Ha! Hoo!